Hi, Dr. Taylor here again. We're going to talk about how low vitamin A and vitamin D can relate to low thyroid function. So if you have decreased vitamin A and vitamin D, you might be thinking, how does that work? How does that even relate to my thyroid function? Well, right off the bat, if we're talking about vitamin A, vitamin A is actually required for thyroid hormone to cross the cell membrane. So if you have low levels of vitamin A, you'll have symptoms of low thyroid or thyroid resistance because the thyroid hormone can't cross that cell membrane to work on the cell like it's supposed to on the DNA to turn on genes, turn off genes, make proteins, all the things that it does. Um, it's not gonna, you're gonna look like you have low thyroid. So they've done a study uh, on people with low vitamin A and the first symptoms that they saw in this study were symptoms of low thyroid. So if you have low vitamin A, those can be the first things that you'll see. And vitamin D, how that relates to thyroid functionality is vitamin D regulates the immune system. And the immune system is very important as far as the thyroid is concerned. Why? Because 90% of people with low thyroid um, have an autoimmune issue like Hashimoto's. So if you have Hashimoto's or an autoimmune thyroid, like say 90% of people do that have low thyroid, that's based on studies, um, and your vitamin D is low, which means that you have dysregulation of your immune system. So they've done lots of studies that show autoimmune issues relate very heavily to low vitamin D levels. So if you have low vitamin D, you're more likely to have a Hashimoto's or a thyroid issue um, in general. Um, they did a study of people that were diagnosed with Hashimoto's, checked their vitamin D levels, and 92% of people with Hashimoto's um, had low vitamin D. So it's a really, really high correlation. So what are the ways that you can have decreased vitamin A and vitamin D? Uh, the first way is through poor gallbladder function. There's lots of things that can affect your gallbladder. I mean, diet uh, is huge, especially in America with how bad our diets are. But um, what the gallbladder does is it produces bile, and bile is needed for fat absorption. So fat-soluble vitamins are A, D, E, and K. So obviously A and D are the ones that we're looking at through here. So if you have decreased gallbladder function, you're not going to be able to absorb fats like you're supposed to, and you're not going to be able to absorb vitamin A and vitamin D like you're supposed to. You can also have gene defects, and this is why we do genetic testing in our office. You can have a bcm one uh, relates to beta carotene, so vitamin A, and you also have vitamin D, VDR um, receptor issues. So these are things that we can look at when we do the genetic testing to see if you know you might be getting great levels of vitamin A and vitamin D. You might have great gallbladder function, but you just can't genetically do the things that you're supposed to do. So there's ways around that. So we can look at those specifically and uh, and curtail them so that they aren't issues anymore. Also diet and location. So like I say, if you have a low fat diet or a low saturated fat diet, you're gonna have decreased um, fats in your system. You're gonna have decreased vitamin A and vitamin D. And location, as far as vitamin D goes, the further you get away from the equator, um, they find you have higher likelihood of low vitamin D. Just because you know you have the winter months. You know, here in Iowa, there's long winters. You don't exactly get outside like you're supposed to. So you can't make vitamin D naturally. So if you go outside 15 minutes every day without sunscreen on, you should be able to make your own vitamin D and be just fine. Well, the fine is a lot of people, you know, especially probably uh, younger kids nowadays, um, don't get outside as much as they should and don't have skin exposure. So they're not getting the vitamin D levels like they're supposed to. So vitamin A and vitamin D are absolutely needed for proper thyroid functionality, you know, and that's why we check things like the gallbladder. That's why we check the genetic issues because those can actually be, you know, issues along the system. Um, you know, location, we can, we can do different things there and obviously modify the diet. So there's lots of things that can relate to the thyroid and that's the things that we need to check to see exactly what's going on with you. My name is Dr. Taylor and I hope that helps.